again, everybody. I'm Chris Mooneyham, and thanks for joining us for this week's edition of the Touchdown Club of Atlanta's TCA All Sports Report. Again, thanks for joining us, everybody. We now have reached the midway point. Can you believe it? <laughs> we are already at the midway point of the 2015 Georgia High School football regular season. Coming up this week on the 680 The Fan family of stations, 1230 The Fan 2, 1340 The Fan 3, and at atlantassportstations.com, it's Kell and Cambridge, a key, key matchup inside of that region in the 5A classification. The Cambridge Bears, in only their fourth full season of varsity football, last year surprised many, went 7-3, and three, barely missed out on the playoffs. This year, got some good young talent, and they're led by uh, more upperclassmen than they have underclassmen. But, of course, they take on one of the more successful programs over the last decade in uh, the state of Georgia, Kell, who has, a, uh, I think, a 24 or 25 game region winning streak. Unbelievable. Kell and Cambridge on 1230 The Fan 2, 1340 The Fan 3, and at AtlantaSportsStation.com. The pregame show, by the way, begins at 7, kickoff at 7.30, and the Nally Lexus of Roswell scoreboard show uh, from the conclusion of the ball game all the way to midnight. Coming up this week at the Touchdown Club of Atlanta on uh, Monday, the 28th, at 103 West in Buckhead, Pat Dye will be our guest speaker. That's right, the Georgia native, the former University of Georgia Bulldog player, and of course, Auburn head coach, as many of you out there know, Pat Dye will join us at noon, Monday the 28th at 103 West in Buckhead. Of course, for tickets, visit touchdownclubofatlanta.com. And on October 15th, I figure I should go ahead and mention this. I know we got a little ways, we're a little ways out, a few weeks, but I should at least mention it to you so you can make plans to join us at the College Football Hall of Fame on October 15th, 7 to 11 p.m. for the Touchdown Club Hall of Fame evening. This is going to be a really, really great event. We'll have Auburn and Kentucky on the big screen there on that little field where the kids can play. Uh, tickets will include dinner, uh, bar, and Hall of Fame tours. 680 The Fan will be there. Our guest speaker is to be determined, but we'll also also give away our annual weekly our annual our weekly awards for the TCA back lineman and coach of the week again October fifteenth at the College Football Hall of Fame in downtown starting at seven lasting till roughly eleven and of course tickets you can get them at touchdownclubofatlanta.com. You know I'll never forget seeing Alatuna in 2013. I joked with head coach uh, Gary Varner that day and asked him. I said, "Okay, coach." Uh, tell me who your number two running back is. And he kind of looked at me and I said, because I know your number two guy is going to go on to be a star. Because that's what had uh, what had happened, for lack of a better way of saying it, at Alatuna for a few years. And he got a good, he got a, he got a big kick out of that and kind of laughed at me uh, half-heartedly. And he said, well, I'll tell you, Chris, I think it's this kid, Holloman. Well, in that 2013 season, the sophomore, Russell Holloman, went for uh, nearly 800 yards as the number two guy to a kid named Josh Batista, most of you may remember, who was just shy of 2,000 yards. That was an amazing backfield that year, thunder and lightning, such as it was. Last season, Alatuna running back Russell Holloman was arguably the best in the state. He was a first-team All-State uh, first all selection. He rushed for 2,274 yards and 24 touchdowns, and he had five 200-yard rushing games. Well, so far here in his senior season, he's not missed a beat. Because last week against South Paulding, one of their biggest rivals, and in a game where most people think the region champion was decided, Holloman went for 35 carries, 260 yards, and a score. And for that reason, senior running back Russell Holloman from Alatoona High School is our Duffy Realty of Atlanta back of the week. Our lineman of the week comes from Collins Hill. You know, the Eagles have gotten off to a little bit of a tough start here in 2015. They lost three close games to teams that could be playoff teams. They lost to Decula, Central Gwinnett, and South Gwinnett, and they lost all three by a combined 23 points. And in all three games, they had second-half leads. The one they lost to South was a three-point overtime affair. So as the Eagles entered region play last Friday night, they knew they were going to have to step their game up as they faced one of their arch rivals in North Gwinnett. The result was a 52-23 victory. And our lineman of the week, well, he was all over the field. It's future University of North Carolina Tar Heel, Toman Fox. Now, Toman goes for 11 tackles, three of which went for a loss, 
four sacks, three quarterback pressures, and a forced fumble. His coach, Kevin Reach, said, and I quote now, Fox had the best game he's had since he's been here. He was relentless. He was unbelievable. You know, only 52 men in the glorious long history of Georgia high school football have ever won 200 ball games. And very soon, Stevenson's Ron Gartrell is going to join that short list. With the Jaguars' 49-12 win last week over Creekside, the 28-year head coaching veteran improved his career record to 199 and 102. Coach Gartrell took over Shamrock High School in the late 1980s and led them to their only playoff appearance in 1991. And in 96, he piloted the Stevenson program, a program that has reached the state playoffs for 15 consecutive years, and they put a slew of players into the National Football League. Last week, his team faced that Creekside squad that was the defending region champions, beat them twice last year, and was a surefire, is a surefire 5A state title contender here in 2015. Well, after the opening drive, Creekside, or during the opening drive, Creekside went right down the field and put six points on the board. Stevenson's offense came out and went out quite easily, punted the football away to Creekside, and Felix Harper led the Seminoles back down the field, almost into the red zone. That's when Stevenson's defense came up with a forced fumble, a fumble recovery, and on that very drive, went down to score a touchdown, made the extra point, and took the lead, a lead they would not relinquish, from 6 nothing down and on the ropes to a 49-12 victory. And for that reason, and of course for future accomplishments, Head Coach Ron Gartrell is our TCA Coach of the Week. Until next week, I'm Chris Mooneyham for the TCA All Sports Report.